Many people living in informal settlements, for instance, Kibera, use such lamps as a source of light. These lamps use kerosene and therefore emit a lot of smoke, which is not good for human health, a reason which drove a group of youth to create small solar lamps. I'm Sunday Wycliffe, mm -hmm. and this is a, a solar lamp. Mm -hmm. uh, we gave it a name, Kib Light. Mm -hmm. Uh, keep light because uh, the keep stands for Kibera and then the rest is light, specifically giving light. Sunday further explains the components of the solar lamp. On the panel are small 10 bulbs for producing light, a battery holder which holds three rechargeable batteries and a switch for putting the light on and off. This is the solar panel and uh, for you to have uh, light you need to put it uh, outside on sunlight so that uh, it can recharge and uh, at the back we have uh, rechargeable batteries so when the panel is outside uh, it helps in the storage of power. I am Elizabeth Ocheno, a member of Kibera Community Youth Program and I'm um, the coordinator of the solar project. Solar lamps, they don't have any health hazards mm -hmm. because looking at the lamps that most people use here, they all of them, not most, but all of them produce some fumes which are not good for the health. So to cut on that, we advise people to turn on onto the renewable source of energy. Beryl Omunya reporting from Kibera in Nairobi.